Ideally, the room is dark because babies are not very good at sleeping. They haven't had a lot of practice and we need to teach them what to do. And to get the best results, the best way of doing that with the most success is to have a dark room. And babies aren't afraid of the dark, you know? So this yeah. is a, a big surprise to a lot of people as well. They often put their baby in a room, but they have night lights on and they keep the door open because they think the baby's genuinely afraid of the dark. But babies until the age of two, two and a half, haven't yet developed the sense of fear. So the darker you can have that room, the better, and the more success you're gonna get. So that's definitely my first tip that I advise families to do. Um, the second thing that I advise them to do is white noise. And white noise is so popular and successful because when babies are in the womb, they are used to 90 decibels 24 seven. So I it's quite loud. That. Yeah, it's very loud in there. So when they come out and they're in a quiet room or they're in a bedroom that's not quite noisy, they don't sleep very well. They're not used to that environment. So having the white noise on just you know creates that what they were used to in the womb now whether they're three days old three months old or three years old i still recommend white noise especially if you're having difficulties with sleep um and with white noise i recommend something natural like rain because in a lot of cases families room share with their baby and it's not just about the baby having good sleep it's about mum and dad as well Absolutely. so when it's natural sounding like rain therefore most people most people can tolerate the sound of rain um, and that's why I like yeah I usually advise doing something like rain uh, and it's got to be constant it can't just start for 20 minutes and stop because that's when bubbles start to stir 